Do you think I'm being overly optimistic about that? Or is there something there that like, look, the finding that we can get the same gains with six weeks less of training in a 24 week training block means something pretty fucking cool that we could exploit somehow. In my, in my mind, absolutely. I, I share that enthusiasm. I'm a little skeptical of dramatic periods of complete time off. Same. So, you know, okay, in the per for the purposes of, of research, it makes sense why they would take three entire weeks off because oftentimes in research, you might kind of take things to the extremes. To, to for purity. For pure, exactly. Um, so I think the, the natural question for me or for, for the average listener is, what if I just took one week off, mm -hmm. right? Or like a deload week where you come in like twice and lift super light. So that that's exactly my thinking is I, that Ogasawara study we've alluded to, awesome study. I would want to see three or four more to the point where I would be like, yes, I feel comfortable with you regularly taking yeah. a month off. You're taking a month off. Your friends are like, aren't you going to hit the gym? Like, nah, man, I'm yeah. fucking making gains right 